I don't got my mic with me today, so we just want to thug it out. But let's just get straight to it. So people can't shut up. They're always talking to friends, family, coworkers, strangers, etc. Now in a world that can't shut up, it might do you some good to be a better speaker. Even if we don't think we're communicating, we always are. If not with others, then it's with ourselves. Most communication is nonverbal, but what you say will influence certain nonverbal cues. For many, what they say does not directly reflect, does not directly reflect their thoughts. They can't fully articulate themselves in, in the way they want to. Now, it's different when you can. It's different when you could leave a conversation knowing you fully express your intentions or you profoundly impacted someone. Lock in and learn to articulate your thoughts, bro. Like, the time is now to do it. Society values public intellectuals, artists, comedians, poets, controversial figures for a reason. Words influence nations, which is why censorship is more prevalent than ever. If a person only focuses on being a master, masterful communicator, they don't have to worry about making money at all. You could literally be, you could copyright, you could sell a product, you could be an artist, you can advertise and promote products or services. You could be an author, a journalist, a dating coach, a life coach, a, a comedian, a motivational speaker, a songwriter, a content writer, a content creator, a social media manager. You get the idea, bro. And when I, when I took a sales job, I learned the, the very basics of communication. I learned how to read body language. I learned how to present demos and ask the right questions and to sell to multiple people at once. Now, to this day, I'm still learning how to communicate even more effectively. Speaking, listening, reading, and writing. These four are the main aspects of communication. Now, which do you need to work on the most? Well, for some of you, it may be all four, because after all, these communication features are all interconnected. When you improve one area, it enhances another and so on. For example, let's just say you finish reading a book that changed your perspective on dating, right? Since that's a big topic, we do dating. And then you journal and you write about how you've seen those principles in the book play out in your own relationships. A couple of days later, that same topic comes up in conversation with your friends. You contribute to the conversation by speaking and listening to the perspectives. Here's another example. Let's say your friend is, oh, you know somebody that's a restaurant owner and they're inviting you to an exclusive restaurant opener, right? During the event, you're speaking and listening to other invitees. You read signs that provide information about the restaurant's philosophy and the origin of certain culinary uh, creations. And a few days later, the person that invited you, the restaurant owner, they want you to write a five-star review about your experience. In both of these examples I just gave, you display all four aspects of communication and you can and you see how in each of these aspects, they all interplay and are all interconnected to one each other, into one another. If you want to be a better speaker, speak more. If you want to be a better listener, listen more. If you want to be a better writer, write more. If you want to be a better reader, read more. It's simple. Now, I've touched on this topic a lot. <laughs> I'm going to continue touching on this topic because it's so important. But I want to go deeper specifically with speaking. Now, there are two aspects of speaking. How you talk to others, how you talk to yourself. Now, self-talk is by far the strongest pillar of speaking. Understand that it all starts and ends with you. Now, what do I mean by that? So, the communication you use to close a business deal is the same communication that you use to deliver a presentation, ace a job interview, get a girl to like you, get out of trouble with the law, speak on the stage, my phone uh, lost a lot of storage, so I gotta finish it off on here. But look, as I was saying though, speaking on the stage right here, building rapport with college coaches and more. 
So when you look at the common denominator, it's you. Understand that there are very few situations where a person cannot lead the conversation where they want it to go. And there can't be an outer experience if it never started from within. Which is why I always talk about my favorite quote being, as a man thinketh then it's all so is he, because it's so true. Um, the man who thinks he can't, thinks he can, is correct. It's all a mindset. Now, I've never heard anyone talk about this idea uh, or go this in depth with influence. And so I'm going to give my take on how deep, how deep influence actually goes. So there's a difference between people listening to you because of what you say and listening to you because they like hearing you speak. In the former, people like what you say. In the latter, people like how you say it. But let's let's unpeel this onion back as as further as we can. So next is how the person interprets what you say. Then how the person views you saying it. And then what and then it leads them to think about what they think of you when you're present and then what they think of you when you're gone. Will someone th- these are the six levels of influence. Now what someone thinks of you when you're gone is far more important than what they think of you when you're present. Your absence reveals your impact. It shows how much you've left an impression on somebody. And this is this goes into having a charismatic effect. Now, I heard a quote, and this is a very good quote. People say that Abraham Lincoln said this. No, it wasn't Abraham. It was somebody else. I forgot who. But people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's such a, that's such a valid, that's such a key quote that people need to think about. Because the charismatic person makes people feel like they're the most important person in the room they provide warmth they provide presence they provide competence they provide authenticity charismatics we have a very deep and i say we because i've been considered a charismatic guy we have very deep connections with others because it starts with ourselves we have deep connections with ourselves and the most crucial fact that you must understand you listen to you must understand is that your self-perception will reflect in your experiences and your interactions with other people. Now, how does this, how, what do I mean by that? Well, let's go further. So look, think about this. If you validate, yes, if, you, if you're in a relationship with other person doesn't love you, it's simply because you don't love yourself. People know that already. But if you, val- if you validate yourself on a new car, don't be surprised when women only want you for your money. If you validate yourself when you're shredded or muscular, don't be surprised when your followers leave you if you lose that muscle. And don't be even more surprised when you can't even look yourself in the mirror. You can't even look yourself in the eye because you don't recognize who you are because you live with that the external validator as an identity for you. Nah. If you find yourself having very shallow conversations with every stranger that you meet, you don't have these conversations with yourself. Wes Watson states, the things you validate about yourself and your heart are what the world will want from you. Now, to the people in the back that's thinking, what does it have to do with speaking? This has everything to do with speaking. Our communication is an extension of our aura. Do not forget that. Your communication is an extension of your aura. What does that mean? Simply, we love ourselves. When I say we, I'm talking about charismatic people. We love ourselves so much that we can never be rejected by others because we don't reject ourselves you must be confident in your words to be an articulate communicator not only confident in your in your words but confident in your ability to effectively communicate what you want at any moment now this confidence must be unconditional that's why you hear the cliche be confident everybody always say oh just be confident be confident be confident at the base of every conversation you should be authentic but be true to yourself but herein lies another problem for most people. They don't even know themselves. <laughs> you can't be confident if you don't know what to be confident about. Make sense? Once you remove the external labels, your job, your money, your status, your athletic achievements, your degree, etc. What's left to show to the world? Who you are at your core. Present who you are at your core. Once you do this, you will be authentically you, and you will be authentically yourself. You will not have to hide what you're thinking. You can speak your mind. You can speak your peace. And life is much more better that way. 
you become a charismatic person. You have an effect on people. And very few people have this effect because it's hard for people. It's, it's very difficult to find a person with unconditional confidence. So once you become that person, that one of one, you set the standard for your interactions, your relationships. You set the standard for the conversations you have. And you become a person of substance. You can never have boring conversations because you're so deep within yourself that you could talk about anything as long as for hours on end because you're just so in tune with what you like and who you are. So, that was a little deep. I know how to switch it up a little bit. It may have been a little bit different, but we get through it still. No excuses. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is also this is also just a you know good little plug. You know, anybody want to see the you know the charismatic effect, you know. On my letters, you know what I'm saying? You can just click on this. You can just go on, you know, on my other letters too, you know what I'm saying? I do weekly letters and I just talk about it on YouTube as well. But that is it. I want to thank y'all for listening and take what I said and replay it if it didn't make any sense until it does. With that being said, deuces.